Well, which one is it then? So I only guessed the correct person last time, so we can guess <laughs> it literally Calico. everybody. She faked the entire thing. Is it cousin Calico? She could have arranged to wrestle her own hogfish. Why would she want to do that? Um, for insurance money? I haven't got any wrestling insurance. Oh, that's who so cool. is Mr. Big? <laughs> oh, that's it. She's just like, I don't even care. You just accused me of this. <laughs> what? I'm a hobo fish. <laughs> Was it hobo fish? Mr. Big must be Sahara Slim. I assure you, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. Yep. That was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here undercover. I'm actually Sahara Slim, under sea marshal. <laughs> <laughs> I sure didn't expect that. <laughs> Thanks for reviewing that. Investigating possible violations of the undersea coffee break statutes. What? did he say? That was smart to notice the telegram. <laughs> okay, he was like, I'm investigating someone who might be violating the coffee break <laughs> like standards. That's because <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So who is? Who's Mr. Big? It's the sheriff. Absolutely. Is it Sheriff Shrimp? <laughs> As the sheriff, he'd probably understand the criminal mind better than anyone. That's true, I do. But I'm no rustler. Yes, it's not the sheriff. Well, who is it then? It's Grandma. It's Duke Free. Maybe it was the squids. They're all pretty suspicious looking. Yeah, she could Wait, spit with her tongue out. We squids would never take something that didn't belong to us. I raised these boys upright. That's right, she did. Oh, yep. she's their mom. Oh, you did. No, it's not in I place. didn't know that. Oh, well then who is it? Who is <laughs> it? <laughs> you. Yeah. Was it Jelly from keep the Soda the Loon? If was. she has a wrestling business on the side, that might explain how she can afford to give out sodas on the house. <laughs> oh, come now. It certainly wasn't me. And soda is a lot cheaper than you think. Really? Oh, Very. Yes, it wasn't. <laughs> this is basically like, what makes you think the guilty party oh, was this, this person? person. Hey. But then... Who's the mastermind? You. You were the mastermind. Look at how fake his smile is. He's yeah. like, it, it's totally the construction guys. I bet it was those two construction workers. They probably need the extra money for coffee. Does uh, wrestling pay more than construction work? I doubt it. No, the construction workers <laughs> are... Well, like, if it does, we will. <laughs> it's totally snail. Was it you? The male snail. Say now. No, it wasn't him. He would have been stuck with his broken wagon when it all happened, remember? Oh, yeah. Well, who then? What if he's like turbo wait, wait, and he can wait, wait, actually wait. go a lot faster than he The only person. Okay, there's like two people that aren't here. There's that. Actually, several. There's that kid who was like. <laughs> so, it can't be Blowfish Guy. It can't be the Jellyfish. Can't it be can't be Mid Elmer. Box. It can't be Elmer. It can't be Mr. Tippet, apparently. It can't, it can't be the be shark. The whale. The, it can't, it can't be the whale. whale. Cabaret whale. Cabaret whale. Yeah. Um, Gil Barker, it's you. I think Gil Barker is Mr. Big. Me? Yes. We overheard you talking to a shark about a really big deal you had going on. Might that deal have had something to do with a certain herd of hogfish? Well, no, actually. The deal I was working on was selling 300 packs of Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum to the Squid family here. They reserved my entire stock, except for one licorice flavored pack. We love the stuff. It kills the taste of the ink. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Yep. But they oh. didn't want a piece of so that. Means Gil it. Barker isn't Mr. Because they already had like no, 300 packs in like a day. But that oh, that's was good thinking to remember the shark. Thanks. Well, if it's not Gil Barker, then which one of You're just accusing the whole town one by one. Well, Luther's like, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Octopus Dude. I suspect Mr. Fingers. Whoa, no way, baby. I don't know wrestling, just piano playing. After we found the note to the wrestler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note. 
in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B flat, but really, it's an A flat. Big difference. Well, we also <laughs> heard you really talking stupid. about singing This Little Piggy. What was that about? My wife was trying to get our kids to go to sleep. We have 17, you know. Land sight. So you're not Mr. Big? Nope. Well, I wonder who it could be. It's literally the only person we haven't tried. Man, I've gotten off so well. Who is it then? I'm super not suspicious. He's just gone after that. <laughs> he left. That should be an option. Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working this on something was when I first that wasn't mm -hmm. a belt buckle. Oh, uh, uh, mm. It was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, he yes, is big. As a matter of fact, it was. I thought it would be good for the hot fish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very yeah, important. Right? Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no, no. I just, um. So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <laughs> <laughs> the one last person you guessed. I'm afraid I am. Just Buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see. See, he sounds Just weird. Buckles hasn't been doing very well, because I haven't charged <laughs> any people any money. And, and nobody wants loser Buckles. belts. <laughs> also, it's like, okay, if you played this, like, he seems pretty remorseful. I guarantee Gil Barker was just like, oh well. He's like, I just wanted to make money. <laughs> I thought people would want to buy rubber flavored gum. They did it, so I stole Hawk of it. <laughs> Even though I already got punished for 4,900 hours There's in the library library. for stealing the conch shell. <laughs> when will he ever learn? No. I thought I might have better luck as a hawkfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. And then Freddy gives this big you speech on how stealing is wrong. And kids, you shouldn't you just steal. You shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. Oh, All we ever so really wanted was to be <laughs> hogfish ranchers. Imagine if it was how. like massive rage breaking out. It's just like, <laughs> we're sorry. Okay. Also, <laughs> <laughs> you lost a cousin Calico, and it's perfect. You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for us. <laughs> yeah, everyone. it's like, oh, Ready we'll just turn them first? into actual I can't Thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the Basically. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. How come the hawkers don't just, like, swim over the fence? <laughs> Work, but when I'm done well, with them, they'll they be talk. Hog That's brain. true. This is the thing. Okay, pause. This is really weird. This is the thing that I've been like. This is literally just hit slavery straight up. Cousin Calco's the villain the whole time. They literally didn't care either way if they were in jail or not. Like they're just kind of just like, like we're in jail here, we're in jail <laughs> there. <laughs> but at least she feeds us what we like. Mud. Mud. <laughs> Straight up mud. Nobody knows how to run businesses here. Like, Cousin Calco has the ranch of, like, actual sentient fish, <laughs> which is not ethical. Just Buckles and the Soda Moon aren't charging. Also, he's service. selling Just Buckles. <laughs> Loser belts. The only one Gil who... Gil Barker's yeah. the only one who understands how the economy works. He's like, yeah, people gotta pay for products, even if they suck. Yeah. <laughs> how are they living, I wonder? Are Shady they, like, Shark's the only one who's actually, like, having a successful business. Yeah. Of course. Here, I've got something for you. <laughs> Ten gallon hats! <laughs> so, Freddie Mover, what You're did you guys do at Cousin Calvin's yeah, Ranch? We stopped hogfish rustlers! Oh, <laughs> she <my>. wet you? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and we busted people abusing coffee breaks. That would Come be a great on, final thumbnail. Show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, we want to show you? Oh, that's all she was doing the entire time. Give me a home <laughs> the buffalo roam with the deer and the antelope. What is this terrible song? Uh, and we learned Where the deer and the antelope play. And the deer and the ant- And the deer and the antelope. 
this one fish in particular who's really funny. I don't think it stuck around long enough. I was like, whatever. Rachel Frost! Yo, you are a project yo. coordinator. You are Oh, cool. it's not this one, but. Uh, wow. Uh, hey, Richard uh, Moe. It's this one. I see you. <laughs> we'll hear that sound effect again in Spy Fox Free. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Anyhow, uh, before we leave, because I don't really want to do a bonus episode, I want to catch everybody as Mr. Big, essentially. Oh, okay. So, I actually think we can do room... Oh, maybe we can't do room select here. All right. Just go. Do you really want to... You really want to play again? You've spent, like, two hours playing <laughs> we have. <this. laughs> we have almost spent two hours playing this, yes. Uh... If it isn't... Oh, my gosh, it's my favorite character, Slim Jam. Slim Jim? He's the one? Oh, not <laughs> Poop Deck. <laughs> yes, Poop Deck is a place. I don't know why that's funny. Oh, wait, maybe not. I wonder how we're going to get them. So if it's, uh, if it's Hobo Fish and you go in here. Hey, look! Here they are! <laughs> you didn't Please see I'm them in the window when you swam. Right. <laughs> we're not missing. We know just where we are. It's ice. What's with all the ice? This is, one of the rustlers brought it in here. I have no idea why. That doesn't even make sense with the hobo What's fish. This? It looks like oh, a is. telegram. Stop worrying. Stop. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. You know who. Hmm. Very interesting. That's all it said? That's a lot of dad. Maybe we can get and the hogfish out yeah. of this hole. Yeah. Hogfish won't fish through there, but it looks like I, I do really like how the whole like culprit system, because in Freddy Fish Free, it's literally just you get the clue at the very end right before you accuse them. In this, you actually get progressive we'll cute clues yeah, as the game goes on. Okay. Well, let's hook them up. Hook, line, and sinker. I love the music in this. So Let her rip. What? No! Come back! Well, which one is it then? <laughs> Who is it? Is it just Buckles? I'll bet it's Nelson Torso. Oh, uh, but, uh, but, um... Business hasn't been very good at just Buckles lately, has it? Well, no, but... And I noticed that you were building a barbell at your shop. Big enough for <laughs> hogfish, building a maybe? Bomb. No. See, everyone thinks I did. <laughs> I noticed you were building a bomb, <laughs> planning on blowing some stuff up. Oh well, that's completely different. <laughs> that's not gonna get me arrested now. <laughs> Wait till Freddy Fish Five. That will get me arrested. Freddy Fish Five is a big blow up. Freddy Fish Five, nine eleven. <laughs> <laughs> the case of nine eleven. Was that too soon? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. It's always too soon with nine eleven. I'm starting to get a little flabby. So, the barbell... It's for me, yes! <laughs> but I'm not a wrestler! No, he isn't. It's not for we just... about him working that out? Yeah. <gasps> he has a gym membership! <laughs> He's taking care of his health? <gasps> Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. Well, that could be a coincidence. Except no. we also found the telegram. <laughs> no. They didn't shred it it's or anything. True. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. <laughs> it's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm you still left the telegram on you now. Yeah, I'm it's so dumb. tired of traveling around all the time. And I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go okay, of it pause. as a ranch. <laughs> I thought maybe if I had hogfish, I wouldn't be a hobo anymore. <laughs> most likely guy I feel like to be Mr. Big. Just in the circumstances, because he's like living like a hobo, and then like secretly he's living it up on top. <laughs> he's like, but I really just want to live out in the slums and I can make my own chili. <laughs> <laughs> make his own chili with, with, with pickle paste. <laughs> yeah. 
I love how he's just like, you guys are idiots. You put literal eyes out. Oh, face. Look, at, look at it also, like, because his, his eyes are being covered. No, no, move it back now. He's like, <laughs> why are you doing this? Why? Oh, my gosh. I'm so well, that's no excuse. Wait. We got the intro cuts. Oh, no. Hogfish heard is This is how you don't break Russell. the game. Russell? What does that mean? We traveled through time. Somebody came and took them without asking. <laughs> That's not right. The hobo no, made a time machine not. in the and out a hog of his junk that he had into care. suitcase. <laughs> they might be in real time, trouble. So we had to do it all I just again. don't know what to do. <laughs> Did you call the police? <laughs> Did you actually call the police about this? No. And I need to My stay here at is, the ranch in case the hog like, fish That's no excuse, and then just her like, Nothing. Dang! <laughs> oh, no, I don't know what to do! We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. So, do we miss anything? I wait, I'm so confused! <laughs> if we go back, will it be the cutscene? I'm glad this worked out so well. <laughs> <laughs> so Freddy and Luffy go there. Like, Cousin Calico, we need to... It's like, oh, can you help me find the hogfish? They leave, they immediately come back. Well, I'm glad it just happened to work out that you found them without us. <laughs> Freddy, Luffy, I can't good. thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are oh my gosh. safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. They always they want me to come to love their, their purple hats. <laughs> they love their, their purple, purple hats. hats. Community service, son. Well, next time we can get a different hat. No, you can't customize that. They're coming that. along quite well. <laughs> <laughs> Stop chasing me. Give me Would you like to play again? And we'll break the game again. <laughs> We're the deer and the ant. Oh, I can barely breathe. He is an orange hat this yeah, time. Yeah, that will be fashionable for her. Oh wait, no, we need to actually talk to him. I forgot. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers. So you. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Very nice. Gee, Luther. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Luther. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. Okay, hang on. <laughs> that was a weird sound. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> it sounds like someone snoring. Let's break up the hogfish. Dun, 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 dun. Shoot, wait. You have the right person. What? Well, which one is it then? I was like, shoot, I forgot to examine the clue in there that oh, led me to believe. This. <laughs> I think you should give yourselves up. Yep. Well, which one is it then? <laughs> which one's gonna give themselves up? <laughs> Wait, no. I wanna look at the I wanna look at the the note. What? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh I'm going God. to get this. <laughs> you keep looking at it and you're just swimming out the door. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to the jail. Wait, that's the wrong jail. We can get out of jail. Here we go. Hey, this is what I wanted to look at. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. Oh no, not again. 
Maybe we can get the yep, hot fish out of this bowl. I thought it was gonna the be like, this little baby went to market. This little piggy got jailed up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, are we gonna phase through this? What? No! Well, which one is <laughs> <laughs> No, we're not. It's you. Phil, when we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the wrestlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. You were talking about the note. Well, I... And when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheet music, Sheriff. The sheet music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So <laughs> yeah, I admit it. I'm the only person who knows how to read sheet music <laughs> in the whole town. <laughs> so it's obviously mine. There's only that two lot of good that did. Phil, does that mean that you're... You're... I'm Mr. Big. Yes. <gasps> he said yes, but he's like, I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand? It's just, it's just that I've got 17 children, and I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought Hogfish Ranching like might bring in a little extra cash. <laughs> well, it's your right. mom, no, it's really Gone wrong. Gone wrong. Gone piano plan. You just shouldn't take you things that don't belong to you. It yeah. hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Right. Really We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that happened again. <laughs> now, that's it for today, everybody. This was so much fun. Also, I totally predicted it would take more than twice as long to do our this path yeah, <laughs> compared to our the first path. We had some dumb stuff. <laughs> hey, I can still do rope tricks. It's a cactus. <laughs> cactus. <laughs> Did you know that Zelda's wanted for having one of these? It's like if somebody comes by for the cactus, <laughs> then she gets arrested on the spot. Because she made a cactus. Oh my god! It's like a sin to draw a cactus. Uh, this has been <laughs> hilarious. I'm not sure if it was funny that our puppet enters the race one. But it's up there. It's up there. I feel like our Hewagas Entertainment Let's Plays are pretty great. Anyhow, I hope people enjoyed that as much as we did. I'll try to find some way of viewing the octopus cutscene the second time. I'm hoping someone on YouTube has completed it. You just blink it. Or I'll just download it, cut it in, somehow. Yeah. One way or another, I'm gonna, I haven't seen it before, so I wanna see it myself. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thank you, Marty, for joining me. Of and we course. don't, and we don't have to do a bonus video because we destroyed the game <laughs> in the middle we of this. We destroyed the we game. We destroyed it. Anyhow. <laughs> and if you like this game, it is available on Steam for pretty cheap. So yeah. go in and eat all the I bologna mean, right soda now, you want and Friday, all the pickle so. paste. So. It won't, be, it won't be when this uh, video goes up, though. So, thanks again for watching. Tune in for my next Let's Play. It's going to be a lot of fun. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day. And God bless. Let me ride with the tide. Let me spend my days outside on wide open ways. Come with me and you'll see the unending harmony of wide open ways.